The sponsor of today's video is Mojo Fantasy. Mojo Fantasy has introduced a whole new way to play fantasy football this year. It works by entering into contests and building a portfolio of players. The better your portfolio performs, the more cash you win. It's simple. The props you pick act like stocks. You can buy and sell player stock live all game long. You can cash in on a hot start or just hang on and let them ride. Check the link in the description. All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug show with a little 49er video. Aaron Rodgers weighed in on Brock Purdy. Well, Aaron Rodgers, who is one of the greatest quarterbacks who ever played, right? I mean, let's be honest about this. Rodgers is as good as it gets. Um, he doesn't have the rings of Tom Brady, but Rodgers is a phenomenal quarterback. And he went on the Pat McAfee show uh, during his weekly appearance. I think it was Tuesday. And um, he was asked about, the 49ers and Brock Purdy. The game being on Sunday night and you traveling and everything, I don't know how much uh, of the games you got to watch this weekend, but I'm curious your thoughts on Brock Purdy. It seems like anytime someone talks about him, the you know it always comes with a caveat. It's like, yeah, well, you know, he's only good because or he's only playing well because he's in Shanahan's system. He has all these weapons around him. Like now that people have a book on him, the the pump he's going to turn into a pumpkin. The other shoe's going to drop, but. I think he's won like 15 pre, uh, regular season games in a row. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. At what point do you think people are just going to be like, hey, Brock Purdy's actually pretty good? Or do you think it's always going to be the, well, he, this guy's good because he plays for Kyle Shanahan? Yeah, that's a good question. And uh, I didn't see the game, but I saw the stats. And uh, I'm a fan for sure. Um, I think he's uh, he's done some great things. What did he, what was he like? Twenty one of twenty two or something twenty and twenty one? Yeah, yeah, dude, twenty and twenty one. He is my thought. I mean, he is, it's unbelievable. Decision making seems to be good, and he throws it in the keyhole, and he's never wait. He, he's phenomenal to watch here early. Early is what everybody says. Yeah, early. You know, it's like I think people always have to have some sort of caveat. Uh, you know, like you know, Kyle's such a great play caller, and he's got you know. CM, CMC and Debo and Kittle and all these guys. Uh, at some point, I think some of that's going to die down. They're going to realize that Brock's a pretty damn good player. Um, and it's hard to play in this league. And I think I think you saw a couple uh, a couple guys. I mean, uh, Justin had an amazing uh, stretch there where I think he had one incompletion of his first, what, 23 or 24, and it was a Hail Mary incompletion, somebody said. Um, and I can't believe they they end up losing that game, but um, I was happy uh, for him to go out and ball like that. Brock has done some great things, and at some point people are going to be like, okay, well, maybe it's not just that Kyle's a great play caller and he's got these weapons, but you still got a guy who's got to pull the trigger every single time and make decisions. And I watched the game a couple weeks ago, and I, I thought he made like three or four really high-level throws, uh, back shoulder throws and tight window throws and then a couple look-offs. Um, so... I got nothing but uh, but praise for Brock and and uh, and respect for the way he's played. I think they're paying him like nine hundred and forty thousand too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at most. That's the starting quarterback in the NFL for the Niners right now. That's quite a weapon for a GM and a team. I hope he gets paid. But the Niners are like, well, he isn't being paid. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and do our thing. Um, there's no question that Purdy's played at a really high level. If you look at the numbers, he has been highly efficient. He's com completed over seventy two percent of his passes. He's become the first 49er quarterback to throw for over 1,000 yards through four games since Jeff Garcia did it uh, almost a quarter century ago in 2000. And there's no doubt, that, you know, Kyle's a great play caller, and Purdy has outstanding weapons and a killer defense. Um, but it's also there's also no doubt that he continues to get better, and now players around football are starting to take notice of what Brock Purdy's doing. And, you know... What he's doing is nothing short of miraculous. I mean, you could make an argument that Brock Purdy could be the MVP of the league. I mean, it's early October, and there's a lot of football to be played, but his QBR is number one in the NFL by a wide margin over Tua Tagovailoa. Purdy's QBR is 85, Tua's 79. Then you look at what Brock's done as a starter. He started 11 games. He's 11-0, you know, outside of... 
you know, the games where he started and finished, he lost the NFC championship game to the Eagles. We all know the story there. He got knocked out six plays into the first quarter, really didn't get a chance to play. But in every game that he has started and played, he's 11-0, never been beaten. This year, of all the top MVP candidates, he's the only one that has no picks, not one. Hasn't thrown a single pick. He's playing at a really, really high level. And then you look at, you know, some guys, well, is he doing it against soft zones? No, he's not. He's top three in QBR, yards per attempt, and touchdown to interception ratio against man coverage since the start of last year. He's, he's only played two years in football. Basically, he's top three in the league against man-to-man coverage since he's been in the league. Uh, and we're going to find out what Dallas does this weekend because Dallas plays the highest percentage of man-to-man in the NFL over the last year and a half, over since the beginning of last year. Dallas plays man-to-man almost 60% of the time. So we're going to find out exactly how good Brock is and can he keep it going against this against this Dallas defense, which, you know, is puts a lot of pressure on you, a lot of pressure, no doubt about it. Um, and that's going to be fun to watch. It really is. Um, you know, the 49ers are playing at a really, really high level right now. And... Um, you know, I mean, the 49er offense is number two in DVOA. This week, they'll take on the Dallas Cowboy defense, which is number one in DVOA. So, um, you know, it's we're, we're going to find out. The Cowboys held Brock Purdy to his lowest EPA last year uh, as a starting quarterback, the lowest EPA he's had. And um, we're going to find out if Brock can keep it rolling. They're going to have to protect him well, for sure. Um, the Niners have great, you know, yards after the catch type players in Kittle and Debo and Ayuk, CMC. And the Niner O-line last week allowed only three total pressures against Arizona, but here comes Dallas, and Dallas is a totally different animal. Parsons has 27 pressures by himself. Lawrence has 15. They got a full stable of pass rushers. They'll line up Parsons on either side of the, of the formation. He'll, e- he'll even test the interior. And the Cowboys blitz at the seventh highest rate in the league, 31% blitz for Dallas. So, you know, the thing about Brock is he's handling everything that's being thrown at him, and he's handling it at a very, very high level. Two weeks ago, Wink Martindale blitzed him 85% of his snaps. What did he do? Put up 30 points in the Niners, you know, put up 30 points and and, um, threw for over 300 yards. This week, Arizona took a totally different task. Uh, they, they, you know, have a league-low blitz rate, only 17%. What did he do? He dropped 30 points on them and was 20 of 21, uh, you know, throwing the football. I mean, it was 95% completion percentage for Brock Purdy. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Dallas looks like in this game. Uh, It's going to be really interesting to see if Dallas can put pressure on Brock and force him into some mistakes. You know, the one thing about Purdy that he's done consistently is he's avoided negative plays. Um, You know, Dallas has got an explosive defense. They've got 14 sacks, fifth in the NFL. they got seven interceptions, second in the NFL. They they, They make an impact on the quarterback. They force the quarterback into high-pressure situations, and in and usually it results in a sack or a turnover. So how does Brock Purdy do against Dallas? If he carves them up, uh, there'll be people talking about Brock deserves the MVP by late Sunday night. If he gets carved up or if he makes a ton of mistakes, then we'll, we'll know that he's still very much a work in progress. And then there's the question that I asked Kyle Shanahan today. I said, is Brock a product of your system? And he said, that's ridiculous. He said, that's pretty ridiculous. You just got to watch the tape. And then he went on to say, look, he's done it in all these different situations, at home, on the road, when he's hurt, when he's healthy. He's been out there too long. It's all on tape. He said, the idea that Brock is a product of, of my system is ridiculous. So there you go. Um, you know, he's got a fan in Aaron Rodgers. He's got a fan in, in Kyle Shanahan. And... Um, 
he's starting to develop fans all around the NFL. But um, it was interesting to hear Rodgers, who is not the most complimentary guy and is kind of cagey with his comments, be as glowing and as effusive in his praise of Purdy as he was on the McAfee show. All right, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for Pig and a Pickle to be the sponsor of the Krug Show. We appreciate them. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. And thanks to all you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.